What's up, everybody? Welcome to Mad About Toys. Uh, here in Canada, we get our Marvel Legends one to two months after the United States, typically. So when I was walking through my local Walmart in my small little town, and I saw that X-Men logo from that Bone Breaker wave, oh boy, did I get a shot of dopamine like a fiend getting his fix. My blood was pumping. They had all the, the whole wave, except for Wolverine, which I got at Toys R Us a week earlier for a whopping $42.99. Get the fuck out of here! Seriously, uh, I was thrilled. The figure that I wanted the most was their maggot. This figure looks incredible. I do have the rest of the wave pre-ordered at GameStop with a release date of August 8th. But patience is a virtue I don't have. So let's do it. Let's check out this Maggot figure by Hasbro. All right. We have Maggot out of the package. Looking great. Definitely they put some money into this guy from this wave. And uh, the Build-A-Figure, I believe, is where most of their money went. Maggot was created in 1997. Uh, his backstory is very interesting, more like an episode of the TV show House. Those slugs, Innie and Minnie, were living in his stomach as a child, and Magneto pulled them out, I think is a brief description of uh, this guy's backstory. Here's a picture of uh, the character that I think would have been a, a very interesting action figure, and um maybe we'll see this one down the road but looking great in his long jacket the only thing he comes with are the slugs and the build-a-figure head and the gun for the build-a-figure so these two pieces looking great can't wait to finish this build-a-figure oh definitely the build-a-figure of the year there's no doubt about it but let's take a closer look at any and many the slugs here and the build a figure head and gun. And here are his two slugs, Eenie and Meenie. And who likes bugs? I do not. Disgusting. Uh, awesome red eyes, million little legs, centipedes looking slugs here. I don't know, are centipede slugs? I don't think so, but. They look like centipedes. Disgusting. But looking great. Just kind of two different colors. The red and the brown. It looks like a little bit of wash in there. Here we got the head sculpt of Bone Breaker. And I love these animated face sculpts. I think one should be included with every single figure. With the price we're paying these days, we absolutely should be getting a second head sculpt with every single Marvel Legends figure. The gun for the Bone Breaker looks great. I can't wait to put this Build-A-Figure together. Here's an up-close look at the photo real technology. And what is up with this? Look at all the little dots. His teeth look like diamonds. The eyes. Um, on your shelf, you're not going to notice this. But with pictures, if you're going to take up-close pictures, like I like to for toy photography, see all those details of the figure, this looks messed up. So definitely not able to take some real nice-looking close-up pictures. So that's disappointing for sure. Let's check out this guy's articulation. And nothing unusual in the articulation department. We all know what to expect from the Marvel Legends. Can get his arms up about that high. The shoulder pad does restrict it a little bit, but it is a softer material. Double jointed elbows. Double jointed knees. Uh, legs are definitely uh, restricted due to the coat. Anytime an action figure has an overlay jacket like this, he's going to be restricted. Arms, uh, Legs will go out about that much. And the uh, knees will bend in. Um, rotation on the ankles. And swivel at the waist. Not too bad of an ab crunch. The head will go up and down quite nicely. The cutout of the neck joint there 
goes really low so you can see unless you tip his head way down you could see that so that's kind of uh, ugly and looks irritating but overall I do like this figure he looks great on the X-Men shelf and there's his ab crunch there you can fold them up nicely he can sit down no problem at all so let's check out some comparisons and we will wrap this one up here we got maggot with a couple other marvel legends comic version punisher and star lord from the latest thor love and thunder wave here we have them next to a couple of other hasbro figures gi joe alley viper and firefly Next to two Valiverse figures, Tim Kennedy Duster, and just one of their regular troopers. Next to a couple of McFarlane figures, we got Harley Quinn and Joker. Next to a NECA Ultimate Scream Face and a Goon figure by Mattel. With my only Magneto figure from Age of Apocalypse. And finally with his buddy Wolverine from the Build-A-Figure Wave. Same wave, only figure I've reviewed so far from the wave. Been very sick of the past couple of weeks. No voice at all, so I've been struggling to put out videos. But I'm all better now, so let's get on with it. Hopefully we'll review the rest of the wave within the next week or so. Stay tuned for that. Lots of toy reveals this past week as well. San Diego Comic Con coming up. Going to be a busy time for toy YouTubers. That is for sure. But this figure's awesome. My verdict is a 7 out of 10. I like the figure. No doubt about it. If you're a fan of this figure, pick it up. If you're looking to get the build a figure, I'd say pick it up. If you're not a fan of X-Men, I'd give it a pass, especially with the new price points that they're charging. But that'll do it, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please hit that subscribe, like, comment, share, and notification bell. I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you have a great day. All done the video.